Hello, this is Techie Doodle Do, and today we will be looking at the UV Beast version 3 365 nanometer flashlight. Oh, and have you not subscribed yet? Please do so, because we would love to have you as a part of our tech family. So, first of all, the wavelengths. When you look at UV flashlights in the shops, there are usually two different wavelengths that you can see. You have the 365 nanometers and the 385. Visually, the main difference is that the 385 has a purple color in the light, while the 365 is more of a white light. And also the price is quite different. If you look at cheap UV lights, usually they are the 385 nanometers. Also, if you look for UV lights for parties, <laughs> It's usually that type you want. But from personal experience, I use this for a little bit of prospecting. I would say that the 365 nanometers is a lot better because you can see the colors of the rocks much better than with the 385, which just make the rock look very purple in most cases. So a little bit about the flashlight and what comes in the box. Um, together with the flashlight you get two batteries which are rechargeable 18650 batteries and you also get a charger for the batteries as you can see here and you get a nifty thing here. This one you can use to extend the flashlight because at the moment we only have two batteries inside here but if you attach this you can have three batteries which is a really nice feature as two battery will only last for about four hours with this one so for the grip i would say well it is a large flashlight as you can see um, the grip is nice. There isn't any soft plastic, it's just hard, but you can see there are markings here making it better to grip. And also it does weigh a little bit. So I didn't find the weight on the internet, but I do have a simple kitchen weight here. Let's have a look, there we go. So let's see, it says that the flashlight weighs about 428 grams. And this is with battery inside. So there we go. Let's take it outside for a demo. We are now back in the wilderness again. So we are at a beach, a very rocky beach, and I will show you how the flashlight looks. So this is how it looks when we just shine directly downwards on some rocks. As you can see, you can already see that some of the moss are showing very nice colors. You can see one with some blue and then the orange. The orange is from a greenish moss. So really you can have a lot of fun using this UV light outside to look at rocks. So let's shine a little bit upwards. So it can shine quite far as you can see. The beam is quite narrow and we are not able to change the focus. So let's look at some rocks that we have found. This, there's a big rock, I don't know if you can see it. Yes, you can. It has some 
moss that looks a little bit white here and also we have a rock that has some purple color to it and there we have one with some moss again showing the orange color a few more rocks with the moss and here we have some very interesting rocks because these the color they have are not from any moss so these are some of the rocks that we go and find here at the beach and I will now turn off the UV flashlight and turn on my normal flashlight to show you how these rocks looks in normal light. Here we go. So here you can see the moss that was orange previously. Now it is green. Maybe I can turn the brightness down a little bit. There we go. Now you can see the green moss on these rocks. And also here, this one also had the green moss. And this was the rock that has the purple shine. If you know what type of rock this is, it would be awesome if you could tell us in the comments because it looks really cool. Well, now in normal light it doesn't, but <laughs> with the UV light it looks really cool. And these are the rocks that had a very strong orange glow. And as you can see, there are really no patches that are orange or green or anything here. So that's really cool. I will show you with the UV, wait, UV light again. It was a fly that <laughs> went into my hand. Okay, let's see. There you go. So again, this one with the purple, and the one with the, the ones with the moss, and this with the bright orange, which is my favorite. So yeah, enough about the rocks. The flashlight, I really like it. I haven't used it super duper much, but for my use, when looking for rocks, it's awesome. It's easy to spot the rocks that looks different than others. So yeah, I, I really like it. I hope you learned something. <laughs> I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos and i hope you have a nice day have a good one <laughs>